So I normally have an intro play for my videos, but for this one specifically, I just don't really want to do that because it's just, I don't know, in my opinion, it would sort of just kind of like undermine the situation a little bit and it just makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. And even then I still feel uncomfortable even talking about the situation to begin with anyways. I mentioned it in a tweet on Twitter that this entire situation, the reason why I didn't really want to talk about it was just because it makes me personally feel pretty uncomfortable to talk about just because of the context of the situation and what ended up happening. But essentially, you probably already know all about it. I don't really think I need to d describe to you what's been going on for the past uh, couple of days, but pretty much there were a few videos that were coming out online. One of the main videos that I hear some people bring up is by a content creator named Prism42, and I think there's another one as well. I'm not really sure if I remember who it was specifically who made that other video, but essentially there were a lot of tweets coming out about Chris Tyson, Ava Chris Tyson, who is most prominently known for being a part of the Mr. Beast crew, and it was the fact that they had a lot of tweets uh, interacting with another artist on Twitter called Shadman. And I'm not going to get too deep into who Shadman is and what he's done before in the past. I'm going to tell you a little bit, but not that much because you should honestly do your own due diligence and come to your own conclusions about that particular person because they have done a lot of really messed up things before in the past. I think at one point they made a lewd image of their own mother, which is very fucking weird. But the main thing that I always knew Shadman for, and I think a lot of other people knew Shadman for, was because because of the fact that he was known for drawing a lot of lewd lolly images and I'm not going to explain to what lolly is if you want to know what it is obviously go and go and research it yourself because I'm not going to explain it to you I'm not going to pretend like you're an idiot that doesn't know how to do research but that's what I knew Shadman was for and apparently there were a lot a lot, a lot, a lot of tweets of Chris, Ava Chris Tyson years ago, basically just interacting with Shadman, asking for art, and you know, just making a lot of very suggestive posts. And I'm gonna show a couple of them on screen for you to read and you know, look at yourself. But one of the things that was the biggest problem that people had with it was uh, like, not only was he seemingly a person that was super into lewd lolly imagery, but he was also willing to pay Shadman to have an image of one of his art pieces and hang that on his wall back when he and Mr. Beast were obviously much smaller channels and it was very early on in her YouTube career but it was right there on his wall and it's in backgrounds of old Mr. Beast videos so obviously yeah I'm going to show you the image and hopefully you're already seeing it but just that's fucking crazy how he's willing to not only interact with someone who's willing to make such like lewd images of fictional characters but then pay Shadman money to hang that on his wall and one of the biggest things that happened around Shadman especially was the fact that he was told to make a very lewd uh, lolly image of Keemstar's eight-year-old daughter if he won the election uh, around that time period and yeah he did it Shadman made a very sexual image revolving around Keemstar's eight-year-old daughter and posted it online and it's obviously that's one of the most disgusting things that anyone can actually do it's one thing to make sexually suggestive images of fictional characters but it was the fact that shad man had no like no i guess I don't know why I'm about to say force it, but like no, I'm trying to figure out a way to explain this, but I guess he just, he didn't feel anything wrong about the idea of drawing a lewd image of an actual fucking person, right? Someone's actual daughter, a real life person. I mean, he already was, he already felt comfortable drawing a lewd image of his own mother. So I guess someone else's daughter, especially if they're underage, I guess it just wasn't a problem. But the fact that he was willing to go that far and do something like that is obviously very disgusting. But I think there were a couple of situations, the lolly lewd imagery with Shadman, the first thing and another thing that we'll talk about in a little bit, kind of gets muddied a little bit because of a couple of other allegations that came out a little later, like a pretty much, pretty much like the same or not either the same day or the next day where there were some tweets and screenshots and videos of Chris Tyson, who obviously is much older, uh, interacting with some minors. Uh, one of which was named uh, Lava, Lava GS on Twitter. And there were a lot of sexually suggesting tweets made to each other back and forth. I think one of them was in regards to Chris Tyson and his Patreon and the fact that they had some naughty lewds or something like that. Naughty nudes, so something like that. Something revolving around nudes, I think. And Lava, who was underage at the time, responded and they had some conversations back and forth and it was very sexually suggestive. And obviously, I think the main thing that you should take away from that is, especially because considering at the time that I think 
think he was actually like 23 years old. He should have obviously have known not to fucking speak that way towards someone who was underage, right? Like, and you don't talk that way with someone who's a minor, even if you're doing it in a very like jokey like manner and you're trying to just like joke around that's not something you joke around with someone who's a minor that's the first thing but then the second thing that happened revolving around the same minor i believe the the same person lava gs was the fact that there were a bunch of like discord screenshots or discord conversations or something like that that involved a lot of dark and edgy humor being said in a group chat conversation and still like it doesn't matter of what's being said it's just supposed to be a joke and it's not supposed to be taken seriously and it's just dark humor you still don't really say something like that around someone who is a minor because that's not something you should be talking about and saying when someone is a fucking minor because they're not going to really understand what it is that you're saying and they're not they're not going to really understand the full context as to what it is that they're saying it's the type of behavior and type of vocabulary that you shouldn't have with someone who's under the age of 18 or at least that that's what i think right and this is this is coming from someone who grew up during the age of prime call of duty where i was getting constantly told to go fuck myself constantly on call of duty you know like that, that's just something that was constantly happening but then someone came out with screenshots that i'm obviously there's not really a way to vet the legitimacy of them besides just one video uh, in uh, of the text conversations of between him and the minor in context in this one video that got posted and reposted again and again on twitter but then afterwards like the main thing that like i took away from the information that i know of about chris tyson now ava chris tyson is they have a youtube channel called tyson boy 34 and this one had interacted with a whole bunch of other forum pages such as 4chan and reddit in which they continued to keep saying a whole bunch of stuff revolving around lollies and like all that stuff that just is really Really, really fucking bad and having like a hentai porn addiction and how they want to constantly have that playing on, on a second monitor <laughs> and then they went onto the youtube channel of tyson boy 34 and there was a video that i think is now since long been deleted so you can't access it without going into archives basically what was posted was a video along with a link in the description of the video that led to revenge imagery that belonged to the child star Jeanette McCurdy. Obviously, I don't think at the time she was actually underage, but it was still revenge pornography of Jeanette McCurdy from years and years ago. And he made a video, I think it was actually 10 years ago, and he posted the video and his whole thing was, oh, I don't condone it, but the link is in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself. So it's like, it doesn't matter whether or not you're condoning it, dude. You still posted it online for people to go and check out. That's insanely fucking weird. The fact that you are so comfortable and willing to link people online to a description uh, in the description of your video that leads to the actual like like lewd pornography of an actual person and then you got mad at mudahar because he mentioned it in his video that was posted a couple hours ago uh, at the time of me recording this he he went into mudahar's dms and got mad at mudahar for mentioning kiwi farms during his video against Keffels and basically I guess there were some people on Kiwi Farms that were doxing a whole bunch of information about uh, Ava Tyson at the time for a whole bunch of obviously dumb shit that doesn't really make any sense at all. Just for some reason they got really mad at Mudahar for some reason for mentioning Kiwi Farms even though if he had or excuse me if they had just like watched the video and like understood the context of what Mudahar was talking about Kiwi Farms about they would have understood why Kiwi Farms was even mentioned to begin with and it's because of the fact that Kiwi farms and other forum sites actually do their due diligence and they archive a lot of websites and media posts and screenshots and etc etc they they do the due diligence of actually archiving a lot of things that a lot of other people just don't think about doing and that's why mudahar mentioned kiwi farms not because he condones the act activity of people getting doxxed but but because the people on the kiwi farms actually decide to dox a whole bunch of information that could prove pivotal in the future for whatever reason and yeah i don't really know what else to say about the situation other than just <laughs> this was a situation that i really felt uncomfortable talking about and i really didn't want to talk about but the more that i just kept seeing more things about it and now that they have a uh, ava chris tyson specifically having a tweet thread of them apologizing but not really apologizing for their previous actions uh and now that they have permanent permanently stepped away from all things mr beast and social media then it's just it's really just messed up it's a really fucked up situation revolving around ava tyson i think that ava tyson is just uh, a massive degenerate 
Uh, maybe they're not that much of a degenerate anymore, but just everything that that, that was that has been shown and has been found, it just leads me to believe that Ava is a type of person that I don't believe should be online as much anymore. They they probably shouldn't be on, online at all anymore, uh, and they definitely shouldn't be around Mr. Beast if Mr. Beast plans on continuing to keep making content and plans to want to continue to keep getting sponsors and a whole bunch of other stuff and brand deals and all those other fucking bullshit and keep his own brand, especially on the top of tops that it's currently on. There's just a lot of things that has to be said about the situation and I think I have kind of already gotten my point across that I feel really disgusted by everything that has been shown. The things revolving around the miners and context, I think Lava said themselves that they don't feel like they had been groomed or they even say that nothing sexually even happened to begin with but I think the type of behavior that was still exhibited between the two of them still shouldn't have happened to begin with. Even if they don't feel uncomfortable by that particular conversation that they were having, that's still a conversation or conversations that were had. That's still something that shouldn't have happened to begin with and no adult should have with a minor in general. And Ava has to suffer for the consequences of having those, con those conversations with someone who's a minor at the time. And then the Snapchat one, again, that's like kind of like up, up to debate about whether or not that's actually true or not. It, could be false it could not even be real maybe it is maybe it's not and if it is obviously that's really messed up because some of the things that were said uh were really weird and uncomfortable but the main thing that really gets to me was the support of shadman who is and uh, surprisingly an even more massive degenerate than chris tyson also the stuff revolving around spreading jeanette mccurdy's revenge porn that like now that's really fucking bad that's really weird that's really disgusting and deplorable that that definitely should not have happened but they went ahead and did it anyways and I, I will go ahead and say one last thing to go ahead and wrap up the video uh anyone on twitter who's saying that this set back the trans community in like 10 years or 100 years or whatever the fuck the actions that were committed by ava chris tyson should be of the consequences to ava tyson themselves personally whatever ava tyson did should not affect the entire trans community because they had nothing to do with the entire situation as a whole just because ava tyson just so happens to be transgender doesn't mean that this should affect the entire trans community as a whole and i think it's entirely messed up to try to place blame on a group of people that had nothing to do with the situation and obviously i would think most likely doesn't condone the actions of Ava Tyson to begin with. So that's what I have to say about the situation. It makes me feel disgusted. I'm very uncomfortable talking about it. And I hope moving on forward, I don't have to talk about it anymore. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below though. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you liked the video, leave a like. Turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. Uh, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.